What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we finally will be doing what all of you have been waiting for. We're gonna finish prepping the car and masking with plastic and then get started with the paint job. We've been doing lots of research, watching YouTube videos, and reading all of y'all's tips you'll leave in the comments for us, which we truly appreciate. So please continue leaving the tips below. So let's get started and hopefully our first ever paint job will be a success. All right, if you remember in the last video that we was sanding, the, we had a car sanded down to 400 grit and the guy at the paint store said we needed it at 600. Since we're not using a sealer on the car, we're just gonna go with straight base coat. So we sanded the car, did some masking. A lot of you said that we needed a better tape and a wider tape. So this is a 3M and it's four autos. And we just wanted to basically use our, the free tape that we had first just to kind of learn how to do it. And so we got to redo a lot of that. And if you see down here, we kind of messed a lot of this up. We got tape coming out. So we got to figure out how you figure out the, the line that you would tape. So we're going to do that, mask it all off in plastic, and then do some cleaning. I saw Paint Society, he cleans the car with this first. Then he comes back with some wax and grease remover. So we had this, so we're gonna use that too. So let's get started on that, get it all masked off, cause we're gonna paint first thing in the morning, probably get up super early, cause it's gonna be over 100 today, about 101 I think, and you don't wanna paint in that kind of heat. So we're gonna do it first thing, get it all ready today, and then paint it early in the morning. So first step, we need to remove this orange tape down below, because it's kind of uneven and it's sticking out, because like when you close the door, you can kind of see it right there and it's just gonna leave a spot when painting. So we're gonna change that out to this better tape. So let's get this removed. We finished pulling that off. It's a whole science to this tape and stuff too. You think the hard part is learning how to paint, but it's multi-steps to all this. Usually when I see them masking off a car with plastic, I see they drape it over the whole car and they cut off little pieces they need. But since we're doing the whole car and got everything pretty much removed, I think I'm gonna just cut it here, unwrap that, and that way you're able to tape the window off and then we'll shove this under here and just cut out pieces for the each side glass and back glass. And then really all we have is putting some right here and then the, the fender well. So I don't think we need to drape the entire card and go back and cut it all out. So we're gonna try this method first. This is cheap so we can mess this up and then get some more.
All right, we just finished wrapping the car in plastic, but we still have the tires left, but we're gonna do that once we're in the paint booth. And then this evening, we're gonna give the car one last cleaning, and then again, once we're in the paint booth, we also got these tack cloths to use right before we paint. All right, Tyler's gonna put down the glass cleaner. This is what, I saw this on Paint Society videos. It's just a real cheap way to clean the car. I guess it saves money on using this prep all the entire time, so we'll first get it clean with this, and then we'll come back. We got this little container. So we'll put the prep all in this and then spray it down and wipe it all again. So we'll do this once tonight and then once we get into the paint booth, we'll do it all over again except for the glass cleaner. We won't do that again. But the plastic came out good. Tucked all this down into here. And then for this door over here, we did it in two. That way we can still get in, put the car in neutral and push it. The paint booth is gonna be facing this way. That way we can just roll the car right into the paint booth. All right, Tyler got the car all clean with the glass remover, glass cleaner, I should say. Now we're gonna use the wax and grease remover. Got it in this little pump bottle so we're going to spray it on and we're using just these little microfiber towels we got at harbor freight for free it's going to be good enough i think and we also forgot about the bumper so we brought those in we're going to clean those up too so let me get this swapped and you want to wear gloves now because you don't want to touch the car again after you spray this because your hand has oils on it Just want to get a light coat. We're just going to do the whole car and we'll do the bumpers. And then once we get the car in a booth, we'll do it all again. Cleaning is the most important part. All right guys, we got the car all clean, happy with that. I don't know if I ever showed you this, but we're gonna be using the Vivor auto finishing spray gun. Feels really good, got it on Amazon. I'll put some links below. It came with this little spray container, but it also comes with this fitting that you screw on top where you can use these disposable cups, which that's what we're gonna do just to save on cleanup. But it's got a good weight to it comes with a gauge and it also comes with a 1.3 which our data sheet says that we need and it comes with I think a 1.7 yeah 1.7 comes with a wrench everything you need so we're gonna be trying this out tomorrow haven't tried it yet so we'll give you a full review on this let you know how it is I'll put links to everything I can in Amazon, like the tack cloths, this plastic adhesion promoter, we're gonna put that on the bumper. You have to put it a light coat, wait five minutes, spray it down real good, and then 15 to 30 minutes, that's when you start to spray it, uh, paint. All right guys, the next day we wanna get started early. It's already 80 degrees. So we got our tent out here, our Gorillas Pro Tent. We're gonna get it aired up get our bumpers in first check out how i did these mirrors i don't really know a better way to do it but i just taped them down on this board and i'm gonna spray them that way i figured that'd be better than hanging them and they'd be swinging all over the place so let's get the tin aired up get everything in and get started before it gets over 100.
right, we're getting off to a kind of a bad start. This worked perfectly last night. This morning, it don't want to work. So we transferred it to this. This didn't work, so we had to just pour it out onto the car and clean it that way. And then we was trying to pour our paint. We don't really have the funnels or the, the top that goes on here. Kind of spilled a little bit, so learning as we go. So now we're going to put two coats of the plastic adhesion promoter on the bumpers. And then you got to wait between 15 and 30 minutes. And then you can start putting some paint down. And already dripping with sweat. It's over 80 already at 7 in the morning. All right, we got our two coats of adhesion promoter on. You gotta wait between 15 and no more than 30 minutes before you putting down base coat. So let's go ahead and take a look at our inflatable paint booth from Gorillas Pro. This thing is nice. I think it's 15 by 21, I think, if I remember right. But this is where you drive the car in. This all rolls up, attaches here if you wanna leave the door open. You got a little access door here. Each side has two filters, and you can change these out. You just buy these, and put on there, drop this down however you want your exhaust to go. We have plenty um, clear sides for light. And it has stakes where you can stake it in the ground, but we have it on concrete, plus we have it full right now, so it should be fine. We got two blowers. One blower is for the exhaust, and the other one's to keep it blowing up. Here's a little access door. Same thing on this side. And if you purchase this, don't forget these come open. So when you first try to blow it up, you're going to have to zip these. So whenever you want to put it away, unzip these, and it helps it deflate. And this is like an emergency door. Just say it collapses on you. You're able to get out of it through this door real quick. Another ventilation filter. This thing is super nice. We got everything we need except the skill level to paint. So we're gonna try to develop that today. So I think we got about five more minutes and we're gonna start doing the bumpers.
All right, guys, the paint job is done and it came out really good. The Vivor gun is Vivor Auto Finishing Spray Gun, model R802. Worked really good. It took me a little bit to get it dialed in just because I'm not experienced at it. So I had to just trial and error of getting it figured out. But um, worked really good. The clear coat was really good and that's supposed to be the hard part. But the only issues I had was why it took me a little bit to get it lined out. I had a few runs and then it's so hot today and I'm sweating so I got water on the paint job. So let's take a quick little look at it. Pretty happy with it, first paint job. Hood came out perfect, which is gonna be wrapped anyway. Usually that's the part that'll be perfect that's not gonna show. A few little runs right here. Got a little run right here. I'm gonna love the color. Bumpers came out great. Paint stuck to it really good. Got a tad bit of orange peel right here, which I probably got too far away with my gun. One little drip right there. So other than that, came out really good. Oh, we forgot to cover the tires. We was gonna do that in the paint booth, but being that we're gonna change the tires and the rims are gonna be covered with a hubcap, just said forget about it, not really worried about it. But one issue we had, and I don't know why this happened, I sprayed the mirrors and it just flaked all like that. So I don't know what in the world happened. And I sprayed the plastic adhesion promoter on it and all that. So I'm at the saying that down. I guess we'll just wrap it with the uh, carbon fiber wrap. So we won't have to worry about that. But the Gorillas Pro paint booth worked great. So glad we had that. And uh, we're gonna let it dry for a minute, pull it out in the sun and let it bake for the rest of the day. And uh, let you see the final reveal, reveal in a few minutes. Right, now we're going to deflate the tent that way we can get the car out here park it in the sun best way to do that like i was telling you earlier unzip these on each side Turn the blower off. Still takes a while for it to deflate. And we'll untie it here. That way a lot of air will come out of this. All right, I think the paint job looks really good just besides some minor imperfections, but it's our first time. So I think we learned a lot and our next paint jobs should be much, much better. And that Vivor paint gun was really good. So if you wanna go check it out, make sure you go click the link in our description. And also same with the paint booth, that was really good. So make sure you follow us on Instagram at Swamp Boys Garage. And also don't forget to check out our next video because that will be the final reveal and just putting the car back together. So we'll see you next time.